Nearly seven years after the deadly Amtrak derailment in Philadelphia, the train's engineer is going on trial. He's facing numerous counts of manslaughter. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden has the story. Jury selection begins Thursday morning in the trial of Amtrak 188 engineer Brandon Boschgen. The landmark case strikes at the heart of events surrounding the 2015 railway disaster in the city's Port Richmond section that left eight dead and injured scores. The NTSB concluded Boschgen lost awareness as other trains in the area of this sharp curve were pelted with rocks. Attorney Tom Klein filed a private criminal complaint years ago after the DA's office declined to prosecute. Do you think that Mr. Boston uh, should be held criminally liable? Uh, I am not passing judgment on Mr. Bastian's uh, final fate. That's for a jury. Uh, I can tell you that an appeals court made a decision in this case that the evidence is sufficient to be presented to a jury. Simply, the trial will come down to a single question. Why accelerate? Defense attorneys claim that Boston was something known as situationally unaware, believing he had already made it through this curve. But attorneys fighting for justice for those killed and hurt say accelerating was the last thing that should have happened. They call that reckless. Attorney Brian McMonagle represents Boston and says his client, in facing numerous counts of manslaughter, could see significant jail time if convicted. A SEPTA train was disabled by a stoning, and a cell train traveling in the other direction was stoned. Uh, and our client, my client, um, navigated his train through that chaos. The trial is expected to last a week. A spokesperson for the Attorney General's Office prosecuting the case declined comment. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you so much, Joe. We will have live coverage of the Amtrak trial starting tomorrow. You can always get the latest here on CBS News Philly and on CBSPhilly.com.